Oh, it's a nice one. You got it. Oh, oh it's, if it's a pike, it's a really big one. Yeah, when it comes to belly boat fishing, what do you need? What kind of belly boat? I would say it uh, yeah, depends, first of all, on two things. Where are you going to fish and how much you want to spend. As with everything in fishing, it's all about the money you want to put into it. Um, there's good belly boats, I would say, from around 150, 200 euro. And when you are willing to spend around three, 400 euro, you will get an even better one. And of course, you can add more and more. Um, I would always say get a PVC belly boat, not the old stuff there was, um, uh, because this is so much more robust. You can uh, hit stones, um, you, it's very, very uh, hard to break, and it's way safer on the water, especially like we're fishing today. When you fish on big waters, you need um, a belly boat that floats very well, where you sit high up and very, very safe. You should actually wear a life vest, I forgot mine today. Um, and you should always consider you want a rather flatter version or you want ones with um, yeah, big tubes at the side that uh, where you can load you can load a lot of weight into your belly boat tackle and whatever you need when you do lure fishing of course but even for fly fishing batteries food drinks it all weighs a lot the sitting position when you do fly fishing is very important because my first belly boat i was uh, yeah, up to my belly in the water and then casting is extremely difficult. That's why those belly boats you've seen today, um, they have inflatable seats. Um, and this my belly boat I'm sitting in now, I even bought an extra inflatable bottom. So you're really high over the water level. So you can see well, you can cast well, you, uh, you have less ref reflection from the water itself. And uh, yeah, you need some space to put a stripping basket. Yeah, you can put it next to you. So you need space. So a very tiny belly boat. Yeah, it should have uh, a certain length, around 150, maybe 160, um, and one meter to one meter 20, 30 wide, and then you're good to go. When I first started belly boating, um, of course, you have to consider buying uh, flippers. And that's a, a big chapter for itself, because uh, you can buy very, very cheap flippers. You can even use the ones people use when they go diving. Um, some people like it. And, and there, that's the same thing. Yeah, you can start from 20 euro and you can spend 400 euro. And somewhere in the middle, maybe when you go to a shop and talk to people, talk, look into different things. And of course, the more you spend, the more you will get. And it's the hard part, especially when you don't have a motor. A motor is super nice to use. Um, but even without a motor, the flippers are more and more important, especially for fly fishing when you want to fish a spot properly. Uh, and you fish uh, every part of it and you want to turn slightly to the left, slightly to the right, um, and there's wind and current maybe, the better your flippers are, the more movable they are, uh, the better your fishing will be. For motors, you see different kinds. When you look through the internet or on YouTube and Instagram, you will see different types of motors on belly boats. Um, you can use normal trolling motors behind you, even with remote control some people use, but it's very, very heavy stuff or you have your little battery with lithium, it's easier now, and you, you have to steer behind you, um, or you use uh, yeah, one of those, it's very, very practical. Um, you have the little case behind you in the back, and it's wireless remote control, you can go backwards, forwards, and it has lots of power to keep going for a whole day. You can even buy a spare battery, and that's important if you fish big waters, because it adds a lot of safety to your trip, um, it's uh, you can go to f uh, spots further away and uh, if you fish only ponds and little lakes yeah, forget about the motor it's nice to have but then you don't need it so it really depends where you want to fish and what you want to do